Hello, my name is Dick Stockton. I'm a trumpet player in the Charleston Metro Band. I've been playing since I've been in the fifth grade. So there's a, a lot of years that you can play if you join me like I did. Now tell me, Dick, what was your the band that you played in in high school? In high school, I played a band that was now unfortunately no longer with us, the Stonewall Jackson Band that was on the west side of Charleston. Okay, and what year did you graduate? I graduated in 1966. Okay, and tell me your first musical memory. Why did you want to be in the oh, band? Oh, I got so memories, many memories. I've been both in all county and all state in school on playing trumpet. I've I played uh, in college. I have played at the Green Bar many times. What made you want to play? I don't know if what I can say, what made me, I just I always wanted to play my horn and I always wanted to, to uh, progress as far as I could and do as much as I could on my horn. Mm -hmm. Did you come from a musical family? No, I didn't. Well, my mom and dad loved to dance, but uh, I didn't end up wanting to play for dancers. I've, I've had a dance band and had dance bands through school. Tell me about um, a musical memory that you had uh, specifically, like when you were in high school or after that. Well, one of my musical memories, I had gone to a concert at the Charleston Civic Center and heard the Four Seasons, of which I found out later they needed musicians. And I volunteered myself and five other guys and found out they played in Beckley the next night we went to Beckley and played with the Four Seasons, and I've done that now on a couple occasions, as well as the Four Temptations and the Four Tops. Would you say that's your best musical memory? That's one of them. I have so many. I played at the Greenbrier on different occasions and uh, played at the Civic Center uh, with my personal band, and I've just had so many. I'm still making those memories because I have a group called Gospel Brass, and we play at all the area local churches. That is fantastic. Tell me, what challenges did you have in your life to overcome to keep playing in the band? Well, thank God I, I got in the band and got through because they tell you that it's the best thing you could do to get your grades up. I had terrible grades. <laughs> And band was, was a good side of it, and it really helped me and got me through school. So uh, that's just something that you, you can have and get kind of hook yourself to it. And what was your first um, job that you had? First well, band directing job. Oh, my first band directing job is with this young lady that I'm talking to, <laughs> 1973. Uh, it was DuPont Junior High School, what I taught there, followed by a year at Sissonville, and then I was at South Charleston Junior High for about five years. From there, I taught all over Kanawha County, be doing beginning players, and, uh, and I'm running into all those players again. I ran into somebody that uh, we went, to, she went to school with at the, the Drug and Porn. So tell me, what advice would you give to a young musician just starting out? Well, my advice is what I've been doing as a substitute teacher, and I've been doing bands uh, at all my schools. I'm playing my instruments for the kids, and I'm playing all the instruments that uh, I don't maybe play that well, but I play enough to show them how it works, and we're hopefully get a spark going. We want to get kids wanting to be in band again. It's not like it used to be in the 60s. The bands were large. They're not that big anymore. We like to have more kids involved. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Dick.